Hello. In the previous video, we saw how to create vector objects. And in this, in this video, we will perform some operations on vector. Let's get started. Imagine we have a vector object v1 and we created the vector by using the C function, comma 4. Okay. We want to add 2 to this vector. So we would write v1 plus 2. This would add 2 to each of its elements. And so 1 plus 2, 3, 2 plus 2, 4, 3 plus 2, 5, 4 plus 2, 6. I want to multiply this vector by 3. Okay, again, 3 will be multiplied to each of its elements, and we get this result. Okay, so far so good. I want to divide this vector by 2. Okay. Pretty simple, we will give the object name and we will divide it by 2 and each of its element will be divided by 2. Let's introduce another vector and do some operations on two vectors. So I define another object v2 and use the C function 2 comma 2 comma 2 comma 2. I want to add v vector v1 and vector v2 okay we just use the um, um, operator plus operator for addition and give uh, v1 plus v2 and the end result is the addition of the two vectors in this case the first element of v1 is added to the first element of v2 the second element of v1 vector v1 is added to the second element of vector v2 and so on now important point to note here is that when we are performing operation on two vectors especially in this case if we see um, we, we are adding two vectors it's important that uh, the the two vectors v1 and v2 in this case are either of equal length we see that the length of v1 and v2 is 4 let's try out the length function on v1 we see 4 length function on v2 4 the length of these vector objects should either be equal or the length of the vector um, object having a longer length should be multiple of the length of the object of shorter length what i mean is let's let's um, see this example let's introduce another vector object v3 again using the c function 2 comma 2 okay v1 plus v3 okay so in this case what happened is we the length of v3 is 2 the length of v1 is 4 4 is multiple of 2 and the way the operation would happen is the first element of v1 is added to the first element of v3 so 2 plus 1 gives us 3 the second element of uh, the second element of v1 is added to the second element of v3 which gives us 4 and after this um, the the vector v3 is added to the remaining of the elements of v1 so 3 plus 2 gives 5 and 4 plus 2 gives 6 now imagine we say that v3 is 2 comma 2 comma 2 in this case the length of v3 is 3 and the length of v1 is 4 with 4 is not multiple of 3 and if we now perform operation v1 plus v3 it will throw an error it says longer object length is not a multiple of shorter object length so that is what i was trying to explain earlier 
that the longer object length in this case v1 should be multiple of the shorter object length which is v3 okay let's go ahead and try out other examples i introduce another object v4 and using the c function let's create this vector as character vector c d e okay so we have v4 as the vector character vector object and let's try to uh, browse through the elements and try to extract the uh, elements from this vector we do so by using square brackets and so if I say I want to browse C from this vector I would type the position of this element which is 3 the first is A second is B third is C so I would put V4 vector object v4 okay this is this is the uh, vector or basically this is the vector and I want the third element so I would write v4 in square brackets 3 and it would give me c if I want to get all the elements except c I would type v4 minus 3 and it will give me everything except C. Suppose I want to, to extract um, first three elements. I can say V4 1 colon 3. It will give me A, B, C the first three elements of the vector. Now imagine I want to extract the first and the third element of this vector I would say v4 c 1 comma 4 it will give me I'm sorry I said third element but I typed 4 so that's not a problem if if I want to extract the first and the fourth element I would type v4 using the c function inside the square bracket 1 comma 4 that means I want the first and the fourth element and it will give me A and D imagine if I want everything uh, all all other elements except A and D I would simply write V4 minus C 1 comma 4 and it will give me all other elements except A and D so this is pretty much um, how we extract uh, the elements um, from a vector object it's also called indexing now let's use uh, um, try to use the same concept but using some logical operator or conditions say I have a vector object age and we define it um, we create it by using C function 20 comma 10 comma 15 comma 5 comma 30 so this is what we have in the age vector object and I'm interested to know uh, to to extract those um, ages which are say greater than 20 so I would start with the vector object age square brackets and I will specify the condition age is greater than 20 and it will uh, it will give me all the edges in this vector which are greater than 20 so there is only one edge which is 30 which is greater than 20 imagine I want to find the edge which is less than 20 so I would say edge less than 20 in the square brackets and it give it gives me 10 15 and 5 these are the three edges in this vector which are less than 20 so we can also perform logical uh, conditions in the square bracket and, and uh, it may um, give um, the uh, required 